Hello, welcome back to our next math class. Today we're going to be talking about using our addition properties to add. Remember we used the commutative property a couple weeks ago and that just said 5 plus 4 equals the same thing as 4 plus 5. And we talked about, remember, how that would be easy to use if you uh, wanted to change the order around. We also learned, so that's the commutative property. We also learned about the associative property, and that's where you can change the groupings of numbers. So if I had 16 plus 7 plus 23, I could change the way those numbers are grouped to make them easier to add. I could put the 16 out by itself, and then 7 plus 23. Now I'm going to see if, give you a minute to look at that and see why we grouped them that way. All right, everybody had a chance? Here we go. So 23 and 7, we know that 3 and 7 is a fast 10. So that would be 10, and there was that would make that 30. And so then I could add 30 and 16, and that gives me 46, and I can do that in my head. So that's the associative. All right, here we go. All right, the first problem we're going to do today is 23 plus 38 plus 42. All right, now we're going to look at those in our ones columns here first to see if any of them are easy to add. And two of those numbers jump right out at me. I don't know if they jumped out at you or not, but this 8 and 2, if you add those together, that makes a 10. So we've got 8 and 2 is 10 plus 13, so we can add that really quickly. And then 4 plus, um, let's see, looking at our tens place now. Um, let's see, I know 4 and 2 is 6, and then 3 and 1 is 4. And there's another fast 10. I got one there a little bigger. Um, all right, so sometimes it's easier to add numbers in different orders um, to help us come to an answer faster. All right, let's try another one. All right, let's see, let's do 36 plus 37 plus 51. All right, now for this one, I'm going to look at the numbers that would be easy to add without regrouping. Okay, so I've got, I see these two I can add without regrouping. So 51 and 37, that would be 88. And so then I can take 88 and add that to 36. 8 plus 6 we know is 14. And then 8 and 3 and 1 would be 12. So that's another way to add, to use those properties to add. All right, here we go. One more, and I'm going to let you try this one on your own. All right, so this one we're going to have four numbers to add. All right, so we're going to do 11 plus 16 plus 19 plus 14. All right, so I'm going to have you uh, pause the video and copy this one down and try to do it. Uh, use those properties to add, and then... Press play again and we'll work it out together. Okay, hope everybody pressed pause. All right, here we go. So, did you find some numbers that were easy to add together? I see two right there, and then I see these two here. Um, those both add up to 10, of course. So, we've got 10 and 10, so that would be 20. And then we just add all those ones together and two more, and that makes 60. All right. So now I'm going to give you a problem that will be your ticket into math class tomorrow. Um, and then we will t uh, work some more on this in class tomorrow. All right. So let's do 34 plus 62 plus 51 plus 46. Alright, so that will be your ticket into class tomorrow. See you then.